welcome to D4 Design. In today's lesson, we will learn about vertex mode, edge mode, and the face mode. These are the three modes which are used in polygon components. So I will discuss one by one. So before starting the mode, you have to create a simple geometry. So I have to create a simple geometry whether from polygon primitive or just clicking the poly modeling and, and go to this polysphere. So I'm clicking polysphere to create a sphere so my uh, sphere is created so the radius is 1 and the subdivision axis and subdivision height is 2020 okay so let's start with how to enable different modes in my polygon component so you have to right click and press it and then drag to different components so there are different options the first option is edge then vertex and vertex face then face multi and uv where there is two types of uv uv and uv shell okay so again this is this is uv shell okay again i have to create this you have to right click and then hold it and then you have to drag whether you you start the vertex mode as mode or the face mode. we will start with the vertex mode okay so this is the vertex mode okay so for the vertex mode the nodal point or the vertex will be selected so these are the vertex vertex these are the vertex so these are all the points are the vertex so there are three or multiple types of uh, or multiple type of the uh, vertex may be used let us say this type of vertex is the quadrilateral vertex and the vertex which is above here at the top is the triangular vertex okay let me rotate the body for example this is the the above surface is my triangular vertex or a tri triangular mesh and the this this is known as the rectangular or a quadrilateral mesh so i have enabled the vertex basically vertex mode so how to do the modeling in the vertex mode so first if i select this point and then i i go to the move tool so my move tool will be will be located or will be activated on the specific vertex which you selected okay so from here you just need to to drag it in in, in positive x or you have to pull here so uh, in the negative x axis or the other axis you have to drag here and to move above you have to drag here again for this you have to drag here then you can drag your point let us say i am taking this point so this point will be now activated and i will uh, i will change my shape according to this vertex so i will increase this point then change in this direction also change above again if i need change this point so just i have to click click on the vertex and then change the dimensions accordingly if, yeah and then okay so this is the vertex mode which is activated by pressing the right button and then hold it and then drag to the vertex point okay so this is the vertex point let's say Hope you hope you understand uh, these all the points of the vertex. Now move towards the next point, which is my. Uh, again, you have to right click and hold it. So now the next point is my. Uh, this is the vertex, and then I, I I will move towards the edge. So edge after the edge, my edge parameter and or the edge uh, property will be selected. So my edge will be will be distorted. Uh, for example, if I want to rotate the body and if I I want to drag my body, let us say I selected this edge and go to the move tool. So just I click the move tool. Now this this edge will move. So you can see that my edge is moving. This is my edge. So my edge is moving. Okay. So uh, let us say I select this edge. okay for example i i want to rotate it so i just need to rotate here then this point according okay for this point if i want to rotate it so 
my body will be rotated about it so again for the uh, for these points i have to i have to select my uh, respective edge so again for the respective edge i, I just uh, select the edge and then i rotate translate uh, translated rotation or the circular rotation so you can rotate your body so let's say if you want to rotate this in this direction so you can rotate it if you want to rotate in this direction or this direction okay so this is how you can you can use your edge mode uh, now moving towards the next mode this, uh, which is known as my face mode so in face mode a typical face is selected and you can distort or you can rotate the body or move the body respectively let us say again i have to right click on any node i have to right click it and then i have to go to my face okay now, now face is selected typical let us say this face is selected this face you can face you can select any face okay so let us say i have selected this face and then go to my move tool so my my face will be will be moved and then if if I uh, selected the rotate tool my face will be rotated about okay so again for this point another if I take another point let's say this one and I want to move it so you can move in three direction and then if you want to rotate it. So just you need to rotate accordingly. Okay, this is how you activate your uh, three types of modes and and uh, in the polygon uh, component. So this is my spherical. Uh, let's try with another body. So let's say I um, I need to rotate it, move the body, so if I can move and rotate respectively. So for this case, this is how uh, I, I can use my rotate uh, tool and my move tool for the vertex mode, edge mode and the face mode. Let's go with another example. So let us say I choose a polygon cylinder. Okay, so this is my polygon cylinder. After this, I have to right click on the body and then hold it and then go to the vertex after this my vertex are selected so let us say this is my vertex and then i i want to uh, select the move tool so just i have to click on the move tool and then my vertex will be moved this okay it will be, let us, it will be moved now this point if i want to move it this point will be moved here Uh, and here. okay so you can uh, select uh, select the point or the vertex point to move let us say i want to rotate it so this will be rotated accordingly okay now the next point is if i want the other other mode so let us say i want to right click and then drag it so i want to activate my face mode so my faces will be selected let us say this face so I have to first I have to move it. So I will I will drag it respectively. Okay. If you I want to dash, this is my face, and if I want to rotate it, so my face will be rotated accordingly. Okay. For the third one and the last one. For example, I want to uh, activate my edge, so edges will be selected. So I will select this edge and then move it. So this edge will move. So I will move upward, downward, and if you want, to, if I select this, okay, I can move this accordingly. Okay, so this is how. I select my different types of uh, modes in my polygon geometries. If I want to rotate it, so I want to rotate it so I can rotate the body accordingly. 
if I want to rotate this point, so I need to rotate. So I can change my rotation and move tool for for these three modes. Hope you understand uh, different types of modes use. So in case if you want any type of changes in vertex in edge and in face so you have to right click on your on your geometry and right click and then you have to hold the right button of your mouse and then you have to drag it to the respective vertex head and the face mode so these are basically three main parameters from which you can change your basic geometry for example you can change your spherical or uh, cubic cubic geometry into different shapes by using vertex mode, edge mode, and the face mode. Hope you understand, and we'll discuss the next lecture uh, in uh, in the next next class. So hopefully you enjoyed this. We'll meet you in the next.